Houston. Yeah, congratulations in Houston. Uh, played a really, really tough game, which is who they are. I mean, they're just the definition of toughness in college basketball. And, um, um, and so, you know, they, they did exactly what they do. Um, uh, coaches, I've known Coach for 30 years, 35 years. Um, he's one of the great coaches in college basketball and has built one of the great cultures in college basketball and a ton of respect for them. Uh, really proud of our guys. Um, um, we just, um, you know, put ourselves in a position where we had a chance and we just couldn't quite get over the top of it. And, and um, we'll, keep, we'll keep battling. We have a good group. We have a really good team and a good group in this locker room and, and uh, our product will keep getting better. Take questions. Yeah, it's, um, and listen, you know, Houston is the best defensive team in the country. Uh, we had some looks we loved that, that just didn't didn't go, and that happens sometimes. Um, um, probably the most frustrating thing for us was in the last five or six minutes was just the defensive glass, which is also what Houston does. Uh, you know, they you know, average 15 offensive rebounds a game, and they got their average, and that's that hasn't traditionally been us. And you know, we 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 got ourselves back into the game just because we had a few possessions where we could get a clean defensive rebound. And then down the stretch, it was really hard for us to do. Um, the guys defensively forced a couple turnovers, gave us a chance. And um, that's what these games are. You know, uh, the margin for error is pretty slim. And, um, and you know, we just, we just didn't quite capitalize. Uh, but I got a ton of confidence that we will. Um, and that's kind of it. Were you trying to foul uh, number thirteen, Roberts? There. Yeah, we felt like we felt like then we, we were taking our chances, kind of just numbers wise, with with uh, both their bigs. Um, you know, both of them shooting, uh, you know, close to fifty percent. Um, we felt like with them shooting in the rock, it maybe even, uh, you know, helped. A, a, it was even more advantageous for us. Um, and you know, um, those are those are you know, in games like this, those type of risks that you take. Um, it helped us with the clock, uh, which was something that was important to us, and and um, you know gave us a chance to get the ball back. Mark, was, uh, did Foose only have about 10, 12 minutes in him? Is that why you waited for him? Um, yeah, so still trying to, you know, I'm trying to learn. It's it's been rare has the occasion been where I've had all three bigs available, and so um, we're still in the process of figuring out um, who works where and when. Um, when they started switching, they started switching one through five, uh, maybe five minutes left in the first half, and then continued <coughs> on the whole game mostly. And 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 you know that's probably advantage Foos in terms of our lineup selection. Um, and so you know I probably should have you know probably should have uh, figured him out a little bit earlier in this game. Um, but you know we're we're all we're all learning. We're learning kind of how we fit and where we are and what we do. Did you feel like you, you, feel like you settled for some deeper threes tonight early in the shot clock in the second half? Yeah, you know it's it's a it's a really nuanced conversation for us. I mean, you know we got up 38, um, uh, and that's important for us. Uh, you know, 27 by 50 is really important to us, and we're going to cross the line sometimes into getting super belligerent. Um, we just are, and we did tonight, and that hurt us. Uh, you know, I wish you know. You think about it, if we if we if we save ourselves, you know, easily we could select six of those possessions where we're like, hey, you know what? Let's actually let's actually um, challenge the defense a little bit more than we are right now. And if you give us those five possessions, you know, it gives us a better chance to win the game. Um, but those conversations are super complicated with a, a locker room full of guys that are desperately trying to do exactly what we need to do to win because a lot of times guys end up swinging too wide and we can't swing too wide. And so um, we'll, that's, that's going to be a work in progress all season. And we're going to push up against the line a lot this season and, and hopefully we'll, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll Weave our way into a, a little bit better production. Yeah, Alan, what was the, uh, the impetus getting back in the game? You're down 13 in the second half, you guys got back in. What, what was working to get there? Uh, just staying together. This league is super tough uh, and it beats you up. And I think it tested our character tonight. And although things didn't finish how we would have hoped, I thought we did an excellent job of staying together and playing for each other. Uh, it's easy for teams to fall apart in those situations, but we really came together and 
I think that'll be super important moving forward for us. Dylan, you were attacking the basket a lot more than we've seen recently. Is that part of the game plan, the mentality thing? What led to you today? Uh, I just try and do my best to take what the defense gives me, and I felt like tonight with the way they were guarding two to the ball and then the big man was sprinting away with his head turned, it opened up some opportunities. And um, Yeah, just like trying to take what the defense gives me and execute our offensive game plan. Uh, I thought I did a good job of trying to stay in how, uh, try and play how I like to play. Uh, I just got to be a little bit smarter during the game and, and not pick up some of those cheap fouls to, to keep myself in an opportunity where coach can use me. Coach, what, what, was, coach, what was the message to Dallas? You got that fourth foul, so in the second half, you inserted it back in. What did you tell him? He doesn't listen to anything I say. <laughs> so. um, not a lot of conversation. Uh, Dallas, Dallas, a. Uh, uh, tremendously high IQ player that takes in a ton of information. So there was actually no conversation necessary. He knew we had to keep playing. He knew that if if if, if a fifth foul came, then as part of the game, it had to come as part of the game because you can't not play. Um, you know, he, he ran away from a couple of, right underneath our basket. Uh, uh, ran away from an offensive rebound that you know could have been cumbersome. He was really smart play there. Um, but you know he's 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 grown into a you know a, a, a great player. Two more questions. This is the number four team in the nation. You guys are right there pretty much the whole way. Uh, what does that say about this team? Uh, I think it shows what we're capable of doing. Um, it also shows us that we have even more room to grow, which is exciting. Uh, and it's super frustrating to deal with all the emotions that all the guys are feeling in the locker room right now. Um, but hopefully we can clear that out, come back tomorrow, be ready to work, and understand the opportunity that lies ahead of us. Last question. Just having Dave Rose here, I mean, he's come to a few games, but mm -hmm. what does he mean to you and what does he mean to you? Yeah, program? he's really special to us. Uh, you know, he's the, he's the best coach that's ever coached here. He did so much for BYU basketball. He has been such an incredible mentor to me personally. Um, and, um, you know, he's, um, he's a rafters guy, right? And so, um, you know, we love having him here. Uh, I think Jim was in the building tonight. Uh, we had a bunch of former players. I think TJ was here and Jake. And, and um, I think that's a sign of a really healthy program when um, your former players and, and former coaches uh, are all really engaged. That's, that's um, really important to our program. So it's, it's really great to have Coach. Last question. What did you make of the atmosphere, and was it hard to communicate down the last couple minutes? Um, atmosphere was great. Uh, Marriott Center is incredibly special. Uh, you know, our our the Cougar Nation it w was it played a large part in us trying to scrap back into this game, um, and we need their help. And 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 everybody in the gym was great tonight, um, and so we're. You know, we're super grateful for that. It's it's pretty special to be able to play in this building. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.